Hi guys, this is Miss Gold. Today's lesson is Module 4, Lesson 2, Percent Problems. Your outcomes for today's lesson are students use the context of a word problem to determine which of the two quantities represents the whole. Students understand that the whole is 100% and think of one quantity as a percent of another using the formula quantity equals percent times whole to problem solve when given two terms out of the three from a quantity, whole, and percent. Quantity, yesterday we talked about, is being part. When comparing two quantities, students compute percent more or percent less using algebraic, numeric, and visual models. Students find 100% of a quantity, the whole, when given a quantity that is a percent of the whole by using a variety of methods, including finding 1% equations, mental math using factors of 100, and double number line models. Two of the main equations that we came up with in our last lesson is percent equals part divided by whole, and rearranging that equation we get percent times whole equals part, and we're going to be using these within this lesson. Example one says the members of a club are making friendship bracelets to sell to raise money. Anna and Emily made 54 bracelets over the weekend. They need to produce 300 bracelets by the end of the week. What percent of the bracelets were they able to produce over the weekend? So in this case, it would probably be more helpful to use the percent equals part divided by whole because we're trying to find the percentage. However, you can use the other equation. You're just going to have to substitute and then solve for the unknown percentage. Highlighting some important information here, we know that Anna and Emily made 54 bracelets over the weekend. They need to produce 300 bracelets by the end of the week. So we want to know what percent of the bracelets were they able to produce over the weekend. Taking our formula, we have percent equals part divided by whole. So in this case, the part is the number of bracelets they produced over the weekend, which we highlighted as 54. And that's divided by the whole, which is the total number they need to produce, in which case we highlighted 300 is the total number of bracelets they need to produce by the end of the week. So when I divide these two, I get 0 0.18, and so this is translated into 18%. Part B says Anna produced 32 bracelets of the 54 bracelets produced by Emily and Anna over the weekend. Compare the number of bracelets that Emily produced as a percent of those that Anna produced. So I'm going to highlight some important information here. It says that we want to compare the number of bracelets that Emily produced as a percent of those that Anna produced. So we're not really looking at part and whole in this scenario. What I'm really looking for in the percentage is comparing the two elements. So you're really creating a ratio of these two. What we're going to put on the top is the number that Emily produced because they mentioned that as being the percent of those that Anna produced. So Emily's bracelets will go on the top and Anna's will go on the bottom. Now they did tell us the number that Anna produced was 32 bracelets, so we know 32 is going to go on the bottom. They didn't specifically tell us the number that Emily produced, but they told us the total number they produced together was 54. So that tells me I need to take 54 and subtract out the number that Anna produced, and that will leave me with what Emily produced, and that number is 22. So the number Emily produced goes on top here with 22. When I divide those two numbers, I get 0 0.6875. Now turning this into a percentage, we're going to move the decimal over twice. So this is equal to 68.75%. So notice percentages, you can have decimals. Example two says the 42 students who played wind instruments represent 75% of the students who are in band. How many students are in band? So in this case, we probably want to use our formula percent times whole equals part. So we need to identify what those elements are. They tell us that 42 students play wind instruments. So that's going to represent a part of our whole. And this represents 75% of the students who are in band. So some of the elements here, the 42 is going to represent the part. 75% is our percentage. And the students who are in band is going to be our whole. Now, they didn't tell us this number, so this is the one we're going to try and find. So let's start with the let statement. Let x equal the total students in band.
So let's start with our formula, percent times whole equals part. And we can fill in the pieces we know. The percentage we know is 75%, so as a decimal, this is 0.75. The whole in this case we just defined as being x, and the part we identified as 42. So this creates an equation that we can solve, and it's only one step. We have multiplying, so we are going to divide both sides by 0.75. That cancels my 0.75, leaving us with x. And when I do 42 divided by 0.75, I get 56 students. So this is an example where we are using our percent times whole equals part formula. But you don't always have to use this. Sometimes it's more helpful to do what's called trans. So let's take a look at an example where we would want to translate in example three. Bob's Tire Outlet sold a record number of tires last month. One salesman sold 165 tires, which was 60% of the tires sold in the month. What was the record number of tires sold? So what I'm really focusing on for my translating here is the statement, one salesman sold 165 tires, which was 60% of the tires sold. That statement really helps to understand the different elements in my equation. So we need to know what our unknown element here is. Um, the question states, what was the record number of tires sold? So we'll let x equal the total number of tires sold. So if I'm going to translate here, we start with 165. When they say which was, that's the past tense for is. And is in math means equals. 60% we would turn into a decimal, 0. 0.60. And of in math means to multiply, and we just said the tire sold is going to be x. So this is how I come up with my equation. 165 is equal to 0. 0.60x. So just like our previous question, this is a one-step problem. I have multiplying here, so I would want to divide both sides by 0. 0.60. Canceling these, leaving me with x equals 275. And so our final answer here is the record number of tires sold was 275. So this is a situation where instead of just using the percent times whole equals part model, we just interpreted what the question was saying by using our knowledge of is and of, meaning equals and multiply. But notice, we ended up with the same type of problem. This is percent times whole equals part. So you still come up with the same result, so either way is an effective method. Finally, let's take a look at example four. At Kent Middle School, there are 104 students in the band and 80 students in the choir. What percent of the number of students in the choir is the number of students in the band? This is really similar to our example one, part B, where we're not just using the general idea of percent is equal to whole, <clears throat> percent is equal to part divided by whole. I'm using what they tell me to compare as a ratio, which is the percent of the number of students in choir to the number of students in the band. So my formula here is going to be percent is equal to the choir students divided by the band students. So in this case, we were told that 80 students are in the choir and 104 students are in the band. So when I divide these two, I actually find that this is going to have to be an approximate answer. So the decimal I get is approximately 0 0.769. So when I turn this into a percent, we're talking about approximately 77%. Notice I use the squiggle equals because this is not exact, it's an approximate answer. In this lesson, you have learned visual models or Arithmetic methods can be used to solve problems that compare quantities with percents. Equations can be used to solve percent problems using the basic equation. Quantity equals percent times whole. Quantity in the new percent formula is the equivalent of part in the original percent formula.